The new economy now, the new economy is based on innovations that disrupt established business models. Artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, 3D printing, drones, DNA, data storage, quantum, quantum, quantum computing, etc. are all rewriting the world economic order. India has already embraced a new paradigm such as the sharing economy with aggregator platforms displacing conventional businesses. Government has harnessed new technologies to enable direct benefit transfers and financial inclusion on a scale like never before. It's now a cliche, data is the new oil. And it is true that analytics, fintech, and internet of things are changing the way we deal with our lives. To take advantage of this, I propose to bring out soon a policy to enable private sector to build data center parks throughout the country. Building data center parks throughout the country. It will enable our firms to skillfully incorporate data in every step of their value chains. Our vision is that all public institutions at the Gram Panchayat level, such as Anganwadis, health and wellness centers, government schools, PDS outlets, post offices, and police stations will all be provided with digital connectivity. So the fiber to home FTTH connections through Bharat Net will link 100,000 gram panchayats this year itself. One lakh gram panchayats this year itself will be connected to the optical fiber FTTH program. It is proposed, therefore, to provide 6,000 crores to Bharat Net program 2020-21. We need to expand the base, of, base for knowledge-driven enterprises. Intellectual property creation and protection will play an important role. Several measures are proposed in this regard, which will benefit the startups. A digital platform would be promoted that would facilitate seamless application and capture IPRs. Also, in an institute of excellence, a center would be established that would work on the complexity and innovation in the field of intellectual property. Honorable Speaker, sir, knowledge translation clusters would be set up across the different technology sectors, including new and emerging sectors, for designing, fabrication, and validation of proof of concept and further scaling up technology clusters, harboring such test beds and small-scale manufacturing facilities would be established. Mapping of India's genetic landscape is critical for next generation medicine, agriculture, and for biodiversity management. To support this development, we will initiate two national level science schemes to create a comprehensive database. The government proposes to provide early life funding, including seed fund, to support ideation and development of early stage startups. So critical to our quantum technology, quantum technology is opening up new frontiers in computing, communications, cybersecurity, with widespread applications. It is expected that a lot of commercial applications would emerge from theoretical constructs which are developing in this area. It is proposed to provide an outlay of 8,000 crores over a period of five years for the national mission on quantum technologies and application. India would probably be the third biggest and pioneering nation if we are able to break into this technology of quantum technology related to computing and other applications. Sir, I come to the third theme, the last theme in my